Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pencil case out of a tennis ball canister. First you're going to take the paper off of the canister and usually this comes off pretty easily. If you know somebody that plays tennis or you live near a tennis club, they go through a ton of these each week, so you might be able to get a donation. Then I'm going to clean out each canister just using a little uh, water with a damp cloth. And I'll use a pencil just to get the insides nice and clean for each pencil pack. This is what I want it to look like when it's all done. This makes for a great item to pop into a shoebox when we have to remove something that's inappropriate at the processing center. The hardest part is just getting all of your items together that you would like to include. And you can see I've laid them all out on my dining room table, everything that I want to put into these pencil packs. There's erasers, toys, pencils, rulers, it's all laid out and ready to go. These are cute little spiky toys that I get from RaymondGettys.com and one of these will go in each canister. I'll also be including these beautiful bookmarks and cards that were in the back of a, an adult coloring book that was donated to me by a sweet friend. And these will be great to add. And then these are the Thai Squishy Stuffies that are out right now at the Dollar Tree if you can find them. They're really adorable and they squish right into the canister easily. So let's get started. First I'm going to put in two pastel pencils, those are from Walmart and two novelty pencils that were left over from Easter clearance. Then I'm going to add a Valentine clearance pencil and five colored pencils from Prang that we are all finding at the Dollar Tree. Then I'm including a wooden pencil, Pen & Gear from Walmart. Next, I'm adding a wooden ruler. These are six inch rulers that I order from Amazon, and I'll put a link in my description. A Crayola washable marker, and a blue pen. Next, I'm adding a fun little eraser that I got from Oriental Trading, and a skateboard sticker, and I just get these from all over but I picked out some really nice big ones to put in each canister. I'll slide that down the side of the canister right in front of the pencils. There we go. Next I'm going to put in the religious bookmark that the child can color. Just sliding it down the canister side. Next I'm adding a fun little toy. I got these from Walgreens after Valentine clearance this year and they have a dinosaur on them. I like to add a small toy in all of my pencil packs. I'm adding a wooden cross from Hobby Lobby and a sharpener from Oriental Trading. Those are the spiky toys that I get from Raymond Geddes. And then I'm going to add some pencil caps to each canister. A few stickers to slide down the side. And now it's time for the stuffy that will squish in pretty easily into this canister. Mm -hmm. 
and you've got a great filler item for the processing center or even for your shoe boxes. And these canis canisters can be used for other things once the child removes all the items. So let's get packing. And that's how easy it is to use a tennis ball canister for a pencil pack. If your lids are not staying on tight, be sure to put a little tape on them because they do get tossed around at the processing center. But these fit really well and try to use canisters that don't have any sharp edges at the top. I hope this gave you a fun idea in your pencil packing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.